Techies and techettes, we are back at it again, and it's getting good out there. As we get closer to the GPU war of what is going to be the very end of summer going into the very beginning of fall between the three major companies, we're starting to see an increase in drivers. And on top of that, we also have some advanced shifting with Windows and FPS high stuff, which is bullcrap. Don't, don't turn on the accelerator. I've done tests and quite frankly, none of it's good right now. But we're gonna be doing some patch notes, we're gonna be doing some benchmarks, and we're gonna be catching up on what's going down with NVIDIA. So my name is Mac, you're with the MacGyver 7 channel, and let's go ahead and jump in to see what's changed for as far as this week's portion of the NVIDIA driver of the 45167. One of the big things you'll notice directly is it's adding support for a lot of games that they had talked about for the longest time. From Horizon Zero Dawn, which was the complete edition of a PlayStation exclusive, finally, that Sony had hinted that they were going to be doing it, as well as Death Stranding making the list on top of a variety of different games. So get excited, there's going to be a lot of gameplay ahead at. So let's go ahead and see what the technical notes are. So most of you that are community members that are coming back, you know that I always have the technical notes listed down below for, for the 500 series that will be coming up hopefully, I'm assuming probably September to August when we finally get some newer GPUs into the line, will they be introducing some codes? 450 is where we're at in those editions of drivers. So let's go ahead and see what Reddit brings up to the finite details, which speeds a lot of things up than just digging through this freaking huge page. There's a lot, but if you like it, there's a lot to read. As illustrated earlier, the games that have orchestrated their way into the new driver are there. On top of the G-Syncs and the Dell for the S2 series for as far as what they've been adding and the Lenovo in their series for as far as there. Now the graphics drivers of what they're going to be fixing is the refresh rate at 144 hertz for as far as the HDMI capture uh, that's set above the 120, which was kind of an issue because especially with people that are like, well, my COD, does it work? Does this driver work for COD? This hopefully might actually improve some stuff, but if you do play COD and you don't see an increase, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what the community is experiencing. Um, the Kepler GPU makes the list for as far as fixes inside of there for the G-Sync enabled and the TDR being incurring during the launch. Uh, Detroit Become Human, which is a great game most people should be playing if they haven't already played it, uh, the game may randomly crash no more, which is cool. Adobe Premiere, which is probably one of the more important things on this list for people that are creating and making a living off of the situation off of the GPU, you have your color panel and the causes in the video to appear in noise, so you'll no longer have digital, hopefully, static in the background of that situation with editing. The notebooks will be making the list for as far as what we're going to be doing the rest of those situations for the blue screens and the hangups that may occur inside of the situation on top of Witcher, which remains inside the minimalized portions of the NVIDIA control panel with the 3D settings management display and the moddable point for the what could not be fully restored into the full screen, which is kind of a pain in the butt if you're trying to play a game and immerse yourself. But looking inside the windows and the G-Syncs for as far as what occurs inside of the clone and the duplication point, which means you couldn't get an another screen going on that. The LVDT on top of the situation for as far as the blank screen and rebooting and the installation on some systems. Now the open lists that we're just going to kind of scroll down you'll see that are a lot of Windows 7 no more but a ton of Windows 10. Since we've gotten into a newer portion of what's going down for as far as 2004, this is going to open up a huge plethora of disordering situations. So if you are making this list as I scroll down it very shortly so we can get to our patch portions of uh, benchmarks, you know, definitely leave a comment down below. I would love to hear what the community has to say for as far as what they're experiencing, but let me know what graphics card you got and what heart your CPU is. Those play a big part in far as far as the uh, game combination of what we can all unlock for FPS. But let's go ahead and jump in to see like, what's changed. Is there some improvements for this week's to install? There actually is. Check this out. But taking a peek at Port Royale, you can see that there's two different scores right here. Now, you have an 8130 and an 8108. Now, the one on the right is going to be the situation of the new driver, but the one on the left is the old driver, which is, you know, actually an increase, but that was also on a cold start. Let me show you what happens once it gets warmed up and you see some results that are a little bit more finite. So you can see that retesting sometimes plays a big part into making sure that you find your median of where the actual portion is. Sometimes it's always going to fluctuate. If you get a cold gust of wind inside your case or a nice cold day, it's going to run a lot better. Um, but for as far as driver to driver on the Tensor Cores and the Port Royale, it's looking good. So let's go ahead and jump into DirectX 
12. And we're going to break down if the advanced scheduling is actually worth it, which I already told you in the beginning. It's garbage. So Windows is kind of screwed AMD and NVIDIA, in my personal opinion. Now, if Intel will take the ring this summer and kill it with drivers, I don't know, because they are pretty cool with Windows for the most part, but they have billions of dollars of technical support with that. Not to say NVIDIA or AMD can't step up, but it just seems like a lot of the difficulty comes into it, and it shows. Look at these tests right here. We're going to zoom in a little bit closer, and I'm going to show you what I mean. When looking at the tests, and you're looking at the lefts and right, the right is with the scheduling directly turned on old driver the one on the left is the scheduling directly turned off you can see a big increase inside of your graphics score so scheduling is doing absolutely nothing and there's a lot of growing pains that window needs to get into this and if this is a trend that's going to be every week where we're looking at a driver that is increased by a third party for windows to run on and then all of a sudden out of nowhere they're not cooperating with it in tandemness we're going to continue to see this because as we shift gears into the new scores check this out this is the newer driver the same exact situation lines up when you look at from the right and left off and on off wins every single time even with the fps situation it's just not good with the event scheduling for windows yet with the extreme portions of time spy coming in for your DirectX 12 you can see that there is the same trend now with the one directly off to the right again this is what you're looking at score to score for as far as the scheduling off and on it's not going to make a difference that these are just basic scores to show you that there are increasements for as far as what's going on with the DirectX um, 12. So there are increasements, you just have to have not have the scheduling on. Now this was the one weird test where scheduling actually for some weird freaking reason worked, but it was so inconsistent, like I didn't even want to rule it as factual. Um, so you can see that it definitely jumps up by like 50 points, but with a good card inside of DirectX 11 on 1080p. I mean, I've seen 100 to 200 points fluctuate. So, I mean, that's not super impressive, especially when it's like off and I'm continually getting increasements for stability where I can lock in the same score over and over again versus where this might be shoddy. Um, so I would suggest again, I mean, you, if your DirectX 11 is your thing and you want to like play with that, you can turn on the scheduling if you want, but if you see a big decrease inside of your FPS or just performance, turn it off. That's going to be your saving grace right there. So when you get past the irregularities of DirectX 11 inside of its 1080p, which I think that it personally, it just doesn't do well with the scheduling. And again, you'll see it from right to left, which we have the drivers lined up for as far as with these scheduling completely like off these are like where you can see that this personally this driver is not good for direct x11 it's probably more than likely tuned for stability because when we turn it directly towards the portions of what we should be seeing inside of the portions you see direct increasements and decreasements across the board for as far as what i'd want to see uh, that's not good with the scheduling on versus off I mean, look at that. That's night and day. That, 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 that's on for as far as having just pure driver, no scheduling on with scheduling. I mean, that's not good. I mean, and that's consistent. You can see that there's uh, there's increasements in the driver for as far as like stability, but this driver is not that good for DirectX 11, looks like. So I get there's a lot of numbers being tossed around and there's a lot of confusing off on type situation, but all the testing that I've got to the bare bones, the basics, the basic look that I can say is the minute you turn on advanced scheduling, you're going to tank roughly about like almost 50 to 100 points, uh, if not more. I mean, with AMD, it was almost like a thousand. It was crazy. It was really not good. Uh, but both companies are dealing with this. So, I mean, the only common denominator here is Windows in 2004 and their event scheduling that's just not working. So, I would say for the community of people out there, like, you know, like, let's look at, you know, the Ultra, but it's going to be the same. So, this one's actually kind of funny. Like, it literally drawed with itself with the graphics accelerator on for Windows. And I was just like, wow, that, that was kind of a quick draw McGraw. But check this out. So when you look at the comparisons of yesterday versus today, there's a really good consistency for increasements on this driver. So I think that basically what they ended up doing for as far as NVIDIA and what 
they were designing for you as they were adding stability for the bottom portion of direct x11 so you can finally get that 144 that makes sense they're dialing that in they're going to make sure that the top end performance for like the 4k is going to be there for as far as the increases to grab more fps which it definitely increased now the advanced scheduling garbage DirectX 12 killing it and Port Royale on top of those tensor core, the ray tracing killing it. So if you are new to the network, you can always like, share and subscribe. It helps me as a creator. And I appreciate the community members that have been taking advantage of the Amazon links down below. It doesn't matter if you bit that specific item. It's just a portal link. Basically, if you're shopping through Amazon, it is a really cool harmony that you can have with a creator without actually having to donate to them. You just buy your own things. And that's what I like to support, honestly, in today's day and age. Just do you buy your kicks buy that game buy that gpu but you can always support a creator by going through those links it doesn't have to be me it can be anyone else that you actually like too on youtube as well or in the creation stations but besides that portions i very much appreciate your time everyone you have a very nice day stay classy stay safe and i'll see you guys and gals in the near future i want to do later on after windows probably does a rebuttal update a episode literally just for advanced scheduling in the fps since i do have a computer that gives me an extra option that I that was cool when I was just like MacGyvering and GPUs into like my Apollo rig, which I'm recording on this right now. So stay tuned for that, techies, and I'll see you guys and gals in the near future for more tech related information. But for as far as this driver, it's not too shabby. Just make sure you don't engage Windows.